वेलकम ऑल टूडे इस टॉपिक इज अबाउट गॉड इज लक्ष्मी एंड हर रूपाज एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ईच गॉड इज लक्ष्मी दैट विच फॉर्म ऑफ गॉड इज लक्ष्मी शुड बी वर्शिप्ड ऑन द धन तेरस डे विच इज़ कमिंग अप वेरी सून एंड दिवाली डे दिस क्वेश्चन यू पीपल रियली वॉन्ट टू आस्क एंड इन फैक्ट यू पीपल हैव मैनी क्वेश्चन अबाउट द दिवाली एंड द धन तेरस डेज फॉर अदर पूजाज एज वेल टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट the goddess lakshmi forms see now this is a very individual and a very personal or a case oriented question why i am saying this is the asht lakshmi which is there the eight forms of goddess lakshmi which is called the maha lakshmi she has all the eight forms accumulated in one form which is the maha lakshmi form okay and maha lakshmi means all these eight forms coming together and giving you all that is required in this particular characteristics or this particular form or energy for that matter okay now this this can be very specific also that what exactly you're looking in life for example if why i'm saying this this question is very much um, you know very personal and self oriented because if you're looking for material wealth for example if you're looking for material wealth then you will be praying to that particular form or name of goddess lakshmi or that energy of goddess lakshmi similarly if you're looking for the education part or something to do with your brain related activities that will be following another goddess lakshmi's um you know roop or characteristics or energy if you're looking for royalty if you're looking for um authority there's another form of goddess lakshmi similarly if you're looking for benefits in agriculture field there's a different form of goddess lakshmi moving forward if you're looking for uh, anything to do with your success and victory aspects to remove the hurdles to skip the hurdles and move forward there's another form of goddess lakshmi that you should be praying or you should be worshiping okay then there's also a goddess lakshmi's form in which it's all about the money it's all about the prosperity it's all about uh things which are related to um the beauty aspect as well that's also a form of goddess lakshmi that energy then maintaining the wealth so if if you got wealth but how would you maintain it that's also a rigorous process so basically whatever problem or hurdle or whatever situation even if it's not a problem whatever situation that you're dealing with in your life individually that really depends on that particular issue or that particular scenario that which goddess lakshmi you want to choose that is one way of going about it now many of you say that we are looking for uh, accumulated energy levels in which we would want to pray to maha lakshmi and we want to make sure that all these areas are covered so then is the time when we suggest the maha lakshmi puja or maha lakshmi process now these processes can be done by you so this is called ashta lakshmi process or ashta lakshmi pujas this can be done by reading the stotras the shlokas the mantras and even keeping the yantra of goddess lakshmi the ashta lakshmi yantra which is there okay now if that is energized if you know how to energize it if you know how to cleanse it how first of all uh, how the you know um the welcoming and the calling of the deity happens all of that so these are very technical things but otherwise also if you want to do it in your house having the yantra and then energizing it or maybe simply by the bhakti mode or your um faith and your love and affection for the goddess you can do that also you can read her names for that matter there are several aspects that you can do yourself also to make sure that you get the blessings of goddess lakshmi in the maha lakshmi form or the ashta lakshmi form remembering goddess lakshmi in the ashta lakshmi form will give you the benefits of all the characteristics that the eight forms of maha lakshmi will have okay but then the problem here comes that you know many people have this confusion that you know whatever is given on the internet the names the mantras the shlokas they have done that particular process but nothing has worked for them so see like i said that these are some technical things the shlokas and all everyone can read those things with their devotion and bhakti form 
but there are certain aspects if you're looking for results if you're looking for things which um you know technically you're not aware of you're not equipped with the summer grays to so many things which happen then that is a time that you should be taking a help from a specialist but this does not mean that you can't do any puja in your house with your own um, level of understanding and the biggest part is your devotion and the kind of intention you carry even if you're not aware of the shlokas even if you just pray in your heart that you know goddess lakshmi i am not aware of anything that is around me that i am no one to pray you or to know about you because it's just impossible to know everything about the goddess but i have this feeling and the desire to you know have blessings from you because i'm going through so and so tough times in life of course there is no substitute to hard work because see whenever i make this video some people feel that you know it's all about doing pujas processes remedies i have always been saying that it's 50% luck and 50% your hard work and when i say luck i i simply mean that the kind of karmas and the kind of destiny that you've come up with now this is again a debatable thing that some people say that you know we can make our own destiny see of course you can you can work on your present situation with your hard work with your determination your discipline of course you can change your present situation with your actions okay but then you have to have the opportunity to pick the right thing for yourself all right and if you've done that then of course you can even if there are some doshas coming from the past life things you can rectify those by doing something about them or choosing the correct things in this present life or completing those actions which were incomplete in the past life as well okay i will make a separate video on this but since i mention this why because this is one thing that many people ask and that they get confused about so there is nothing to get confused every time when you're doing something your correct intention and your clean heart plays a major role in the success of anything it's a two way process it's not that every time a healer is doing or a guru is doing things for you your intentions and your purity also really matters your faith also really matters okay so if you're looking for the blessings of goddess lakshmi and mahalakshmi and as i said this you need to choose that what is you need to be sometimes you know very specific yourself also that what you're looking for in life for example like i said there are eight forms of goddess lakshmi you know the major ones which are there the, the mahalakshmi forms now out of this like i said if you have some materialistic problem that you want to conquer or you're looking for some benefits in um, the section of your agriculture field whatever that specific thing i always say that don't become greedy and ask for everything i say that first of all let's solve that what is that one problem that you facing and then step ahead okay we can go ahead and do the maha lakshmi puja the ashta lakshmi puja later but let's know and diagnose that what what kind of energy of goddess lakshmi is missing from your life which energy needs to be activated and energized for you for solving this particular problem so that the prosperity grows and so that this problem is sorted and then later we can work on the other prosperity levels and other significances of goddess lakshmi this is also one thing that i suggest to the clients to the people who come to us and i'm not talking about black magic victims here i'm talking about people who want to grow who want to enhance their businesses who want to enhance their lifestyles who are not having any negative energy influence on them because every time whenever there's a negative energy or a black magic or anything to do with um dark energies first you need to remove those cleanse those only then any divine thing or positive things works on you this is the rule of universe remember this no pujas no nothing will work on you if you're under dark energies that's another thing altogether i made hundreds of videos on this okay so which goddess you should be praying in the diwali section that you've been and the dhanteras section which bookings you should be doing um particularly for your situation when it comes to goddess lakshmi or the materialistic things or all the things that i just mentioned in your life be specific and 
with the team also and get the bookings done accordingly because this this video is being made because you people are getting too confused for the diwali bookings and for the dhanteras bookings and which form of goddess lakshmi we should be getting the bookings for should we do the mahalakshmi uh, puja we should be do the mahalakshmi yantra that we should be asking for the mahalakshmi yantra so i have made this clear now you write the mail to the team asking for whatever is specifically there for you and if you still think that you want to go ahead and do the worshiping and the praise and the blessings you want for the mahalakshmi energy then of course this is something that i've already explained and people are aware of it also they are getting the bookings already okay so i hope this video um made some things clear to you people are looking for bookings for the ashtalakshmi puja and the dhanteras pujas that's about it i'll see you very soon Till then, goodbye and Jai Mahakali.